Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and today we are on a little mission to get to Wales to do some uh, some little bikepacking trip around Wales. We haven't been to Wales for ages. I think the last time we were there was like San Helen and the Gower which was, I don't even know, summer last year sometime. But I wanted to get to Wales to do a little bit of riding. The trains are all like broken um, so I decided we're just gonna cycle there and I thought I'd take you guys along for the trip. It's probably gonna be like an overnighter, maybe a little bit more. It's a beautiful sunny day, but it is pretty cold and it's gonna get down to the minuses again tonight. Starting in Bournemouth to Trowbridge, all that is basically like off-road. We're gonna follow my 370 miles of smiles route to there. Then we're gonna follow the canal, which is nice and easy to bath. And then also the uh, Bath to Bristol, uh, old train line -y kind of kind of, cycle route and then finally we'll make our way to the bridge and cross into Wales for some nice fun winter bikepacking. Right let's get a move on it's currently like half 12 so we haven't got actually that much of daylight left to do today but um let's go. <laughs> sun is so nice. It's just a slight bit of warmth coming from it. I've done 32 miles so far today and I'm currently at a little village called Bishopstone. Um, I am gonna have some very cold pizza for a quick snack. Now it's currently half two so we've got like two and a half three hours until sunset. With this ride Every time I do this ride to Wales, I always have the issue of where to camp, where to sleep for the night, because if I go too far from now, I'm going to have to cycle through the Salisbury Plain. And after the Salisbury Plain area, there's a couple of areas, but there's not much areas to, to actually wild camp. So it might be that we do another like five or 10 more miles. There's like a wooded area the only problem with that place is it can be quite busy with like walkers and stuff. So we're going to see when we get there. But um, yeah, we're going to have some food. The trails are like really solid in places, but then they're starting to thaw out. So it's getting really like sticky mud. And uh, yeah, the bikes get starting to get nice and muddy now. But yeah, 32 miles done. Currently at a place called Bishopstone. But one thing to say about today's riding is it's just so clear. There's like not a cloud in the sky. The visibility is absolutely amazing. When you're on top of the hills, you can just see for miles. It's absolutely beautiful. Right, pizza time. Crack on and um, hopefully figure out where to camp. Right. Right guys, so 
It's about 40 something miles. I'm a few miles away from a place called Great Wishford. I don't want to go much further than where I am now. I'm in the woods that I think I probably could camp. Um, although, my gut feeling is saying no, which normally means go with your gut and don't camp here. Although, I don't know why. I think just because I know this place is quite like popular with like dog walkers and stuff. Um, we still got an hour or so until actually the sun sets. But as you can see, there's uh, woods sort of everywhere. So there is quite a few places to camp. It's going to get down to minus four tonight, so I want a nice wooded uh, section. Get out of the way, it should be a bit warmer in the woods. However, I just don't really feel like this would be a great place to camp. I don't know why. Now, I've probably got like five to ten miles until we actually hit the Salisbury Plain. If I hit that, I've got to like, got to do the 20 miles through that or so. So, there is potentially a few little spots just before we hit the uh, Salisbury Plain area. Oh, I don't know. I might just have a little look around. Hang around a little bit and then see. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a bit of food, a bit of drink. Hang around and uh, see if I can find anywhere decent to camp. So I have decided I'm going to keep going. It looks like there's a few little patches of trees um, just before we cross over the road on into like the Salisbury Plain area. I don't know why, I just, uh, I don't feel staying here is a great idea. It just seems to be lots of people around. Um, so yeah, we're gonna carry on and hopefully we can uh, find a little patch of woods. It's quiet enough for a bit of wild camping. I think we should be okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. The sun is gonna set in like 45 minutes, so we gotta be quite quick. Well guys, I've done about 45 miles so far today and uh, found somewhere I'm going to camp. I went on a little bit further, not too far. And uh, this set of trees over here, we're going to go and uh, set up camp to sort of in there somewhere. It's nice and quiet. But look at this view. It's so clear. You can see for miles. It's currently one degree. It says it's going to get down to about minus four tonight. So it's going to be a bit of a chilly one, but looking forward to it just because of how clear it is. It is going to be like the nicest, nicest sky tonight. I can just feel it. There's going to be so many stars. And then early in the morning, we'll set off and we will do, we'll ride across the Salisbury Plain, which it's probably going to be better actually go in tomorrow morning once it's been all frozen because right now because it's been like three four degrees all day everything started to fall out it's all sticky and the Salisbury Plain area can get um slidey dangerous quite fun but uh yeah a bit dangerous uh, when it's sort of like that and it all clogs up your bike so tomorrow morning when it's all frozen still um it should be a lot easier to ride but basically the trail that I'm going to be going down is like there, it goes up there, and then that's Salisbury Plain over there. So yeah, I'm going to set up camp in a minute. I'm just enjoying this sky because it is just so nice. So, so nice. I know this camera doesn't do it justice, but <laughs> yeah, it's just beautiful. Right, I'm going to go set up camp, 
chill out and I'll see you as always bright and early in the morning for day two of uh, getting to Wales. See you in the morning. Wow, good morning guys, good morning. I have woken up into the thickest fog ever. Got down to minus four last night. Um, it's nice and toasty in here. It's just bloody freezing out here. And I cannot see a thing. Wow, it's so pretty, everything being a uh, all frosty, but yeah, not a lot to be seen so far today. Hopefully that will clear up as the sun rises, but right now <laughs> I really cannot see a thing. And the worst thing about the winter wild camping is once you're in camp and you're warm, you're toasty, it's just getting out of camp is the hard part packing up this frosty tent but we gotta get it done we gotta get a move on to start crossing the Salisbury Plain after the Salisbury Plain we go down to Cotrow Bridge and then we got a nice cruise along the canal to Bath and then it's all pretty flat after that after we get past Salisbury Plain area it's uh, all generally quite easy easy riding all the way until we cross that bridge into Wales. Right, got to get up, brave this uh, coldness and pack up this tent. Let's do it. Ah, just found a big floor in the dynamo right now. So, the cables are now broken because this bit, which sits on the outside of the uh, bearing type of the hub, is now frozen. So as I move the wheel, this whole thing moves. This shouldn't move with the wheel. And uh, I just picked up my bike, rolled it forward, and obviously that's frozen to the actual hub. And um, it snapped my cables out of the little plug. That's really annoying. Now I can shorten them cables probably a bit more. Um, but it's really gold, and I don't want to be sat around here doing that. And I also need to um, get that unfrozen before I can even do that. So I think we just ride, and then hopefully it'll unstick or something. I literally cannot move it. <laughs> that is an unexpected downside to the Dynamo hub, or at least this one, anyway. All right, let's continue packing up. I haven't managed to fix the dynamo yet. I think I'm just gonna ride until we get to like Trow Bridge. That's all off road, apart from the final little stage, which is annoying because I need the lights for that bit if it's gonna stay foggy. But, um, yeah, it's not a great start to the morning, but hopefully as we ride, it will sort of unstick itself and uh, I'll be able to fix it. It's just uh, a pain to have to stop in this sort of weather when you just want to keep moving to stay warm. All right, on to the uh, Salisbury Plain area. Ooh. And uh, super misty, super beautiful. It's currently about minus three. Look at it. There we go. On the way to Wales we go. Ah, beautiful.
Alright guys, just come through the Salisbury Plain now. So we're gonna go that way and we descend down into towards Trowbridge. It has actually cleared up the fog, but I'm quite high up, so I think I'm just like above it. So I'm gonna try just before we hit this little road section to uh, fix this dynamo. Hopefully I can do it. Should be able to do it. I just need to uh, bite some of the outer cables out and uh, rewire it. Um, hopefully it's uh, defrosted enough now. The temperature's now like two degrees, three degrees, so it's, it's warming up. Um, the ice is uh, slowly melting away. But yeah, it was like so beautiful coming through the Salisbury Plain. It was just like icy, frosty, it's like a little, my own little winter wonderland. There was nobody around, just like beautiful riding. And uh, yeah, perfect temperature really. All right, I'm gonna try and fix this dynamo. And then uh, let's move on to Trowbridge. And then grab some brunch. All right, fingers crossed I can get this working. Ugh. Ugh, my hands are so cold. Right, I think I've done it. That was really, that was really hard with cold hands. Right, let's get to Trowbridge. Let's get some brunch. And fingers crossed that works. It's wired, but I can only, there's only one way to test it, and that's to ride. Into the fog we go. Yes, we're charging. Right guys, we are now at Trowbridge. It's just so cold right now. Oh, I was warm and then it was like a bit of a descent into uh, Trowbridge, so it's kind of like cold. But we've got some food, um, had some orange juice. And we got these uh, vegetarian meatball things, like absolutely tons of them. They were on offer, special deal for like £1.50 bargain and uh we are going to be heading along the canal now until bath do my best to try and not fall in that canal because there's ice sheets all along it but we have some food and then we should have a nice chilled out ride all the way to bath and then straight through to bristol it's all pretty flat now um pretty much until we get to the bridge stuff is passed so decent but it is like half 11 and sunsets at five so i don't know what i'm going to do about camping tonight i'm going to camp before i get to bristol or not i'm not sure yet we'll see let's have some food Alright guys, I've just made it to Bath, just come through Bath and now on the uh, Bath to Bristol cycle route. Got about 14 miles until we get to Bristol. It's currently 2pm, so we have about two and a bit hours until the sun sets. Now, I'm in kind of two minds. I can easily get to the bridge today, I can easily get to Wales today, but the problem is once you cross that bridge, I've got to go down towards Newport and there isn't really anywhere to camp along there. So it might be a case of camping along this cycle route, which again, isn't really that great. And I have a feeling most of the uh, fields either side of it are gonna be pretty flooded. So it might end up, we just haven't, I'm just gonna end up having to ride into the night a bit tonight to um, get down to Newport and then get further out as well. 
I don't know yet. But yeah, so far, today is just uh, cold, very uh, foggy still, and that fog just sort of keeps you all wet and nice and cold. Um, I'm just going to chill here a bit and uh, have a basically a slush puppy. And I'm just going to, I guess what I'm going to have to do is just ride along here. If a field is looking good, then I might have to call it. That'll be where I go, where I camp, set up early, or just sort of wait around until it's dark enough to set up. Or we're gonna, just going to have to carry on into, uh, into Wales and then hopefully find somewhere. I don't know where. This is always the hard part. Of finding somewhere to wild camp when you're in the busy places. Right, slush puppy time. And then we're just going to cruise along this cycle route on this very foggy day. Well guys, it's going to be, we're going to make it to Wales today. Where I thought possibly we'll be at the camp was just all flooded, so we're going to, it looks like I'm going to be riding into the darkness for a bit tonight, but um, we are going to make it into Wales tonight. Normally on a nice clear day, you can see the bridge from here, we're probably like, maybe like five or six miles away, um, so not far to go. I'm bonking a little bit, so... We have some uh, toffee yum yums, and uh, yeah, we're gonna make it today. Oh, I'm tired now, and we're starting to get a bit of rain, which is not good, and not um, not on the weather forecast. But I have no idea where I'm gonna camp tonight. But I figure it out. I'll probably get all the way to Newport and then start heading to the ride. That will be up the video after this one. But let's have some yum yums and then let's make it to Wales today. welcome cannot see a bloody thing but we are now in Wales well in a minute we're in Wales today has been a long day but a beautiful one so I'm gonna wrap this video up here make sure you subscribed and until next time keep smiling enjoy the adventure